Hello everybody, today we are going to model a balloon car uh, that will 3D print for class. Uh, we're going to do everything from start to finish, that's including making the car chassis, the wheels, uh, modeling the nail, then from the nail creating uh, the assembly, uh, from the assembly creating some drawings, the exploded view. We're going to do everything one video start to finish. So let's see how it turns out. Um, these are gonna be using the constraints that I have in the document for my class, but uh, they'll work anyway. I've made a few of them this side. So even if you're not doing it for a class, it should work out anyway. All right, here we go, let's get started. So today we're using Onshape, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Create, and we're gonna go to Document. So we're gonna create a brand new document. It's called Balloon Car. And get moving on it. My, the constraints in my class are basically you're going to use a four by two and a half inch box by two inch box. That's everything that's got to fit into just the car chassis and then everything else assembled you can come outside of. So the car that I'm going to make is uh, basically just kind of a, ah, you'll see why I even bother talking about it. All right, so let's get started with the balloon car. Actually, the picture of the balloon car will be here or here. It's going to be one of those spots so that you know what you're making. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sketch on my front plane. It doesn't really matter what plane you use. I hit N on the keyboard to normalize the picture in. And I'm going to start with a center point rectangle. And I'm going to go, let's go two by two. And then I'm going to put a small arc on top like that. And keep it. I will scissor this out. Done. So that's the first sketch. Then from here, I'm going to create an offset plane. And I will go, it's about 3.5 inches. Ah, let's go four. So now I have an offset plane. I'm going to create a sketch on that surface. Hit N to normalize it in. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loft from the back to the front. I'm going to hit U to use the line down on the bottom here. I'm going to come in with a corner rectangle and go a little bit bigger. And then I can dimension that one. So one point, let's call it 1.25. And these are all like random. Okay, and then from here, we know that this distance, if I this little measure down here, is two inches. So to get the center dimension uh, from side to side, so we know that it's going to be D from here to here is two inches minus the 1.25. And then that's divided by two, and that center so in. So you can do that math right like there on on shape. Then I'm gonna put an arc here. Okay, scissor that out. You don't necessarily need to. And now I'm gonna loft from there to there. And now that's kind of like the basis of my car. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a slant on the front of mine. I'm going to create a sketch that goes to the middle of it. Create a section view, which was all from the cube there. On that same thing, hit N. Slant, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Basically what I'm doing at this part is creating a shape to extrude cut that out. I hit symmetric. I turn off section view so I know how far to go off. Drag the arrow. And that's kind of the part of my car chassis here. Uh, so my wheels sit flat. I'm going to model in some parts to shoot out to hold the axles in. Create a sketch. Section view it. Here, I'm just going to do basically two rectangles. I'm going to hit U. And we can dimension them too. To 
kind of just arbitrary dimensions. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to bring it over to the front. Okay. And I'll try to get those even with the bottom. So I'm going to hit you on this front line there. Or there. Like that. So now I have a line. And I can bring these down to it. Oops. There we go. To get those to go into the line, I can use a coincident constraint right up here. Oops, sorry. Coincident constraint. Goes it back. And I'm also going to move this back like that. I'll give this the same dimensions. This is the other one. Sketch. Sometimes in the section view it gets a little annoying to pick. There we go. And I'm going to just drag it out a little bit further so they stick a little bit further out. Okay. And we'll do symmetric for that. So I know it's coming out on both sides and check. While I'm in section view, I have to do the part for the balloon to come out of the front and I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to do that as a revolve as well. So I have this piece here. So when I revolve it, it creates like a little lift. I'm going to come in and do some dimensions on this. I know that a hole of around 0.4 is usually pretty good. The height I can fix later. All right, this then we'll do that 0.55. Uh, this is 0.2. These are arbitrary. You can change these up how you wish. Um, actually, let's go bring this down. And this points to some five or some number like that. And then I'm just going to move this up a little bit more. Finish sketch. And now I can revolve this. Oops. Around that axis. And now that's the part where the sits balloon's on. The balloon's going to stretch around it, so that's good. Now I'm going to do, here is I'm going to make a uh, sweep that comes down and out for the intake and the exhaust of the balloon car. Um, since I'm already in this section view, I'm going to just draw that in now. So let's sketch right on that right plane again. I'm going to hit U to project that geometry of this line right there. So it gives me a place to start my path. Picks the midpoint. So what I do, and I'm just gonna come out like that. The exact path, there's no science to it. It's kind of, well there might be, but then I'm gonna come in with a fillet. I want a nice smooth arc on that. Hit the check, and now that's the path. That, the hole, is going to have. So now I can create a sketch up on this face. Three. And I am going to sweep that. Out the path, remove. And there you go. So now, if we turn off the section view, Balloon goes over here, air comes out the back over there. Now we'll uh, do some wheels. Oh, Lexi, we'll do, we'll do the axle holes in there. Almost forgot about those. So I use these 18 gauge wire nails. So super small. So what I do is I take a point, I just center it on here. Like 
like that. And then I use the hole tool, pick these two points, and I make them one millimeter. One millimeter is uh, just underneath the size for the wire shank now so that you can press fit it in and hold your wheels on. That's the balloon car right there. Nothing too crazy, nothing fancy, but it's pretty neat. All right, now we're gonna do the wheels. I'm gonna do this in the wheels in an assembly as a contact in context of the part. So down here on assembly, I'm gonna click that. Insert my balloon car right in, hit check mark. So now the balloon car's in there. I'm gonna to go to create part in studio context up over here. I select the origin and now I'm gonna create my part while being able to look at this so I can judge the size of my wheels. I'm gonna create a sketch right on the face of the axle. And I'm gonna start with the outermost circle. So like I'll make my wheels like, I don't know, these are like two inches. I don't know, let's do it. Let's see what happens, two, roughly. So that'll be one wheel right there. And while I'm at it, I can make the hole for the axle go through. That dimension should be a 18 gauge wire nail is uh, like one, a uh, little under, a little over one millimeter. So I'm gonna go like 1.5 millimeters or the actual number itself is uh, shown right up over here. But I think that 1.5 millimeters actually works. I think it's like 0.04785 inches or 0.048 inches. So I just go a touch over like that. So you can see just a little bit of space so the axle has a place to kind of ride through. Check mark. Now I'm doing this wheel pretty easy. I'm gonna extrude this all out. I'm gonna go uh, 0.5, nicer size wheels on this. And then what I'm gonna do, create a sketch on this, kind of hollow it out a little. some of this. Uh, let's go 0.25, remove. So now that creates that surface inside there. And I'm gonna just do like a spoke pattern on the inside. I'm gonna hit U, so I can use that center point. And I'm gonna create a couple of construction circles my spokes. I leave a good amount of material here and a construction line going up through. So now when I make my spokes, to get this even, I can mirror it. And now I'll use a three-point arc, connect. a sketch and I'm going to remove that out and then I can circular pattern this feature around that and that is my wheel right there I can insert this and go into the assembly So there's the wheel on there. And actually I can add the other four wheels on now too. And I'm gonna do that with a Revolut Me. And actually this one, you can see moves around. So we're gonna go insert, part studio. Let's add the four wheels in. Check like that. Now since we the colors are all the same, let's go in and change some of these colors. We go part studio one, we can make this all black. Right click down here. We can go edit appearance and uh, I'll just do like a dark gray. You can actually go in to do specific faces if you want. It's your call, right? If I wanna go in here, I could edit the appearance of that as well. Edit appearance, edit, add appearance to face, click that. And uh, maybe I'll make it like a, a goldish color. All right, so now when I go to my assembly, there they are. Uh, for the car, I'm gonna change the color of that appearance, Let's make it red. All right. So now that's the car right there. And now let's constrain these. I'm going to use a Revolut Mate. 
So that'll allow for the wheels to spin. So I click that. I'm able to click the hole here. I spin it around. It's like that. All right, so that's one. And I'm gonna do that four more times. Okay, if it doesn't switch sides right, change the axis right there, check. Swap the sides. Oops, let's X that out. Okay, so what it's doing is it's not fixed. I'm gonna come fix the car body right here. That grounds it in space. And go back to my Revolute Mate probably should have fixed it first. Swap the axis, check. So now that balloon car is almost done, let's model the nails that go in. And we can see our wire nail up over here and it's got a 0.048 diameter and it's about 0.625 inches long. So 0.048 diameter is a number 18 smooth shank wire nail. That's all it is, that's what I use for the actual wheel. So we're gonna model that now. I'm gonna do this in context. So you can click that up there, the check mark. And we're gonna basically model it right in over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a sketch right on the right here. And I'm gonna do this all in one shot as a revolve. Now, okay, so that's the wire now. Uh, what we need to do is go in and give it some dimensions. I know that this dimension is 0.125 divided by 2, which is going to bring the whole thing down like that. This dimension is 0.048 divided by two, which is almost the number that was there. This distance from here to here is 0.5. Oops. So I control Z, it does the back. So let's do the total distance here first, which is five eighths. That. And actually, let's do this. I am going to delete this line here, put in a regular line, like that. Okay, so that's coincident. This distance, I'm gonna keep static for now. Five divided by eight, which drags that out more. This distance from here to here is 0.5. And this one is 0.03. So that is the wire now right there. Finish sketch. We gotta revolve this around that axis. Might as well change the appearance. Let's make that gray. There's our wire now. So we're gonna insert this and go into the assembly. And while we're do at this, let's insert three more. And these, uh, you can use a Revolute or a Fasten. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna use a Fasten. And there, like that. It's gotta just flip the direction. And that's one. And we are gonna keep going. Direction, and there we go. 
Now, if we want to animate one wheel, go into here, right click on Revolut 1, and you can hit animate. And so it goes. If we want to get them all to go together, we're going to use a gear. So this gear relation right up here will take two different Um, take two different uh, revolutes and put them together so that they work together. So now I did uh, one and two, three and four, and now I'm going to do one for two and three. Oops, that was wreck opinion. I accidentally sucked the wrong one. Now, when I animate one of them, it's going to get them all to move. Now, they may not move in the same direction. So we can see here, they're kind of flip-flopped. So these two are flipped. So when we go into the gear, we edit them, we can reverse the direction. Now, those go together. So we have three that are going together. These two right here. I believe that was gear two. One, two, three, four. So now all wheels are going together. <clears throat> you can change the steps to make it go faster or slower. Just like that. So that's a balloon car modeled and assembled and animated using those. So now the next step we're gonna do is gonna create a bunch of different things. We're gonna do an exploit, we'll do um, different drawing files of each one to show you how to go in and how to set those up to get dimensioned. Then we can do an exploded and parts diagram and all that other fun stuff. So let's move on to just creating drawing files of the parts. So we come down on the bottom over here, we're gonna create a drawing. I do the one with no views, I don't do four views, so no views, and ANSI A, go in, Part Studio 1, just gonna bring in the car. So right now it's that view, that's not the view I want. So we can put it in, just leave that, I'm gonna hit escape, I'm gonna come in, and now I double click on it, take a look at the different views. So not the right side, so then it would be the left side. That's the view I want. I also want, uh, we could do view labeled. Actually, I'm gonna take the label off. View label. Front. Scale label, we can put that on there too. Okay, so we got those. And I think that is good to go. That. So now it's front view scale one. Right click on it. I'm also gonna make go to show hide and put in shaded view. So now I can come in onto the top here, projected view. You can project for the view. Top view. And isometric. So you can see here it's crowded up. So we're gonna drop this scale down. 0.5, so it's half size. Oops. Half size, check that. And then I can do an isometric view coming off over there, and we have them. Uh, what I'm gonna do on my side view is I'm gonna show hide hidden lines. So you can now see the path that comes out of it, so we know what it looks like. Now for the dimensions. I want overall dimensions. I don't need the dimensions of everything. So important dimensions are like overall length, width, height, all those uh, diameters for the intake, exhaust, all that stuff. So to get all of the important dimensions, we're going to come up here. We do overall. We could do things to like the different holes on these. Oops. Right, we'll stick with overall. 
all the height. Okay. Overall width. Do it again here. Technically not needed for this view, but we'll put it in. Okay, same thing. Um, I can put in overall height. Yeah, I'm going to skip it out of here because I have that one there. All right, so those are major. So now other things like the hole here. And actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a center line on. So we come in over here, call out. I'm going to put that in, sorry, for here. So for the axle. Here's my center, uh, center line. Now I can do a dimension. And that gives me a 0.3 opening that I know is there. I'm actually also going to dimension. So now we have major dimensions that are there, including the hole intake and all that stuff, uh, through holes for the wheels. So that's one. Come down to the bottom, to the bottom here, create drawing. Same thing. Now we'll do the wheel. So now we have all three parts that are dimensioned. Not perfect dimensions, overall dimensions. I just want to see you can go in and do that. Now for the next step, we're going to create the exploded view. So for that, we need to go back to our part, to our assembly. So we have our assembly. And over here, you're going to see bomb table. That's what we want to do first. This is going to help us create our parts list and also exploded view. So now it tells us item one is a chassis. It's a part number. I'm going to give it a 101. And I'm going to call it the chassis. Uh, right now, because it's item one, if we go in and change the name of it in our part studio, instead of part one, we rename it chassis. When we go back to our assembly where our table is, let's see if it updates. Oh, didn't update. Let's go back to the part studio. Let's say chassis. I'm gonna go part studio. I'm gonna rename it here too. Okay. And 
actually, while well, at it, I'm going to rename all of them. Item one, two, three different items. The quantity of each one, our part number, and the name of what it actually is based on what we call them. And so let's see, we have for item two, that's our wheel, I'm gonna call it one, zero, zero, two. Uh, wheel, one, two, zero, three, for my axle. Completely random numbers. And I might actually get rid of this column. I don't need the description because I have the name there. Works for me. This now is going to create a parts list that we're going to need later on. So we can drop that back in. And now, to do the exploded view, we're going to go over to this panel right here, exploded views. We're going to add exploded view. We're going to click on multiple items at once that we want to move together. Now when we start moving it, we're going to move everything Pretty much an equal distance out. Check. Once you get the parts moving, come in and select more parts. Move that out. Same distance. I'm going to stick with my negative one for now. Axles. I'm going to move these out a little bit further. I'm just going to 2.55 works to me. Out. So now that is one exploded view. We could take this, bring it over in the drawing sheet. We have the exploded view. You can see the different steps. If we wanted to go through them and bring it over into a drawing sheet. So we're going to hit the plus sign down at the bottom. Create drawing. Same thing as we're always using. Okay, and we're going to go to other documents. Oops. We have our assemblies. That's the first thing we're going to add is our assembly in. And I don't like the front view. I like the isometric. Okay, that isometric works for me. That scale is pretty good. So that's one thing. I'm going to right click on it. Let's show high. Let's do the shaded view. Then we're going to add the bomb table, bill of materials table. That actually fits. I'm going to do it right here. Now that's it. Next thing we're going to do is add our exploded view in. Insert view. Explode one. And that would also be an isometric. And let's shade that. So now that is a complete set of drawings with the bomb table, a bill of materials table, isometric assembled, isometric of the exploded view, all the three drawings. Um, let's go and entitle these things, why not? So I'm gonna come in, double click, and we call this uh, bomb table. Easy enough. You can put your name in it, date, that's fine. Just showing you that it's there. Drawing. That's everything. That's the balloon car, start to finish. Done. Some of the numbers are going to be a little bit different, right? I didn't really play with the constraints, so we would have to modify them a little bit, but the wire nail and all that other stuff is pretty much good to go. 
that's it people now you just got to print it get a 9 or a 12 inch balloon put it up on top fill it and see how it goes well like and subscribe let me know how that balloon car works out if you have any comments let me know have a great night everyone bye